Dear students, in this worksheet called Network Days, we are tracking projects, starting dates, ending dates in a project length with a simple formula here that really subtracts the two dates. And this is just fine if this is a seven day a week project, but many times that's not the case. We only want to count weekdays. So we will show initially how this would work for any country where the weekdays are Monday through Friday. Instead of this number here, which counts all days, let's use a function called network days. This is a long function name. So as you start to type this n, right away, you are probably seeing network days right here. Click this, tape it into place. Notice below this another function, which we will see in a moment, network days dot intl, meaning international. So we will tape this into place and we have a starting date that's in cell B2 comma and ending date right here. So how many days has this project taken? If it's in the past or it overlaps the future makes no difference. So we will simply press enter. It's 68 days. This does not count such a days and Sundays. Copying this down the column, let's check out the other working days as well. So now we are not counting such a days and Sundays and off to the right, you see another column it's called holidays. We can also take those into account. And so as we look at these different lists, and of course, the holiday list might vary with certain companies and certain organizations. Let's also take those into account. So this first entry says 68 days. And if we would take into account the holidays, comma, after that last entry, and now go highlight either all or at least the relevant holidays. So it makes no difference if we highlight more than or necessary. If we are concerned with just the relevant ones, we would highlight these cells down here somewhere. Maybe that's close enough right there, good enough. And then press enter and it's 67 days. So only one day difference, probably Labor Day in the US. So we can do that for the others too. So keep an eye on the other numbers. Instead of 46, that's a 45, 41, it's a 39 and so on. Now the problem here though, is it highlighting a different number of cells. So maybe what we should have done to handle all these and what I can do now. So go back to the first entry and make that be an absolute reference. And why not highlight all these? It's okay if we highlight more than are necessary. Highlight all those, press the function key F4 and we will have an entry there. And then as we drag these downward, we will see some of the others change as well. So network days, it allows us to calculate the amount of time lapse between two different dates, not counting such a days and Sundays, and also not including holidays provided we have got that list nearby. Now, occasionally there is a little bit of confusion about how this works. Suppose we take a situation here where we are using a Monday on a certain date. For example, here I will use 12 7 15. That's a Monday 2015. That's a Monday. And then over here, I will put in the corresponding Friday, which would be the 11th 12 11 2015. Now I'm going to drag both of these downward and have the same entries. And if we simply tabulate the difference between the two, we get a four. But if we use network days, whether it's holidays or not, in this case, no holidays, we get a five. Now, which is right? Network days does, does count the starting date and the last date. But when we are subtracting dates, we get a different answer. So from time to time, note that difference and if you are talking about full days, network days does get the job done. It does count the starting day and the ending date. And when we are subtracting days, even though many times this is likely to work just fine, it's a short time period and it does not count the two days. It says, in effect, what's the difference between, let's say an arbitrary time on this day and that same arbitrary time on this day. Difference is four. Be careful with that difference. So network days allows us to count the difference between days and take into account holidays when necessary and it does not count weekends. Now, so what if you are in a country 
where the working days and the holidays and the weekends are a bit different. So as we are putting in network days, we also see another option here called network days dot international INTA, meaning international. Tape that into place and we will start here. Same date B2 starting date comma C2 ending date comma and then we see that this choice. We see all the possible entries for two consecutive days, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, so on and so on. All possibilities there for two consecutive days. And then we see references here to each single day only. So possibly you are in an environment where you work every day except Sunday. And so maybe Sunday only would be the holiday or in a different culture, maybe Friday only and so on. So you have got different options here that you could use. The default, if you do nothing here, means such a day Sunday, as we see it right here. So the default is actually option one. So think of how you could use this possibility. The variation on network days, a viable tool for calculating the differences between dates, not counting weekends and not counting holidays. And by the way, with international here too, we have that same option for not including the holidays.